I don't know how this is gonna work. I really don't. So, I had to cut off that last video, well, a while back, earlier this evening. I have just finished the great look at all the trans yellow goodness. <laughs> This this one piece alone, lots of trans yellow. <laughs> Maybe un petit. I went a little overboard, a little tiny bit overboard. Un petit. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no no such thing. Um, this is the oldest module in the layout. Now it has been modified since its original, but this was the very first portion of the building that I built um, for Chicago Brick World and and before Chicago Brick World so 2010 so this is this part is 14 plus years old um, because this oh, oh this before we go into some details uh, there was this one here and there was an identical one that was behind it so you have one here one here and then in the middle I had uh, an eight wide corridor up on this level that went to two landing pads that were not like the ones that are on that. They were just kind of, I used those those six by whatever wing plates uh, in light gray. And I just connected them right to the base plate to the landing pad. So it was basically a, a funky looking octagon, um, which lasted a few shows actually, that, that octagon looking base plate uh, landing pad. But so the base plates were right here and here. So it kind of looked like an or, or, ornithopter, uh, whatever, the one that was in the um, Avatar and uh, the original uh, movie of Dune. It's because it had the two round, you know, propellers lifting it straight up the VTOL, the vertical uh, helicopter. I think, uh, but anyway, <laughs> so uh, there was one of these, one identical mirrored on the back, and then two landing pads on the side with a corridor uh, between them, uh, and that was the extent of the building. That was it. So this thing, but the doors were here. This was here. This was here. Back then, actually, back up the truck. This was not here back then. My original, I used. I don't want to dig them up. Uh, alien Conquest? No, it wasn't Alien Conquest. Mars Missions? <laughs> wasn't Life on Mars. It was one with the orange and white and trans orange. I think that was Mars Missions. Uh, but the alien ships had that uh, quarter curve black, 33 degree slope. And I ordered a bunch of those. So that went from here to here. And then in the middle, I had... Um, uh, a, the the blue classic space logo uh, 33 degree slope in the middle and then the black went to here because I didn't I couldn't figure out how to do this at the time um, and yeah these pieces are getting old and dusty um, but then as soon as I discovered this I swapped them all out for this anyway so uh, but that black curve on both sides and then this little thing in the middle that lasted a while a couple of years yeah, I think it was I think it was that way when I went to Bricks Brick Fet 2011, and then after 2011 I changed it to this uh, because again that's when I came up with the actual landing pads <laughs> using the 4x9 um, uh, wing plate. But I was experimenting heavily on all the uh, wing plates to see what kind of radiuses I can make, and that's when I found out that 4x9 wing plates in the circle, 36 of them, you can uh, just it's exactly the same curve as the inside diameter of the monorail which opened all the doors in the world but anyway so this thing is old um it has been modified and again even the the, the landing pad itself the base plate itself i covered over i got the cricket to print me off this stuff uh yellow instead of the dark green that's on there normally and um you can see it stops inside the green, the green still inside because I was too lazy. <laughs> so, so, anywho, <laughs> say la vie. Um, and uh, you can see, if you can see there, 
there is that uh, one by six by five uh, printed brick that came in the command center. And on this side, you have the one by six by five that came in the beta one, because this is a command center. <laughs> so, and, and you can see it has a whole slew of chairs and consoles in there for people to do their jobs because they have to have a job. Uh, this is ground ops, by the way. This, this, le this whole layer here is ground ops. And of course, this is where all the vehicles get parked and fixed and fixed and mechanics and whatever. And so you can see inside there, people are walking around, people are doing their jobs. Now on the bottom, kind of empty. I had ideas. I had some really good ideas to kind of populate the bottom, but it's basically vehicle storage. So I wasn't going to worry about too much about it. But the issue is, <laughs> as you can see, there is a ton of bricks up here and there's hardly any support down there. For it. <laughs> Although I do have the flying buttresses. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and this, let me just see, this, these two pieces interface straight into the center tower. Uh, so the center tower basically ends here uh, and the vehicles can park in there. So what I had originally intended today or whatever is I was going to take the bottom apart and just build it solid because this thing does break so easy. <laughs> because the, the pieces, there's not a lot of studs holding the whole bottom part together. The top is very well held together, but the bottom part, not so much. And the, the worst offender is the garage doors, especially the middle one, because this whole part is this, this blue and this gray here, and the, and the, and, and, oops, oops. And, the, and you can see where the garage is, the garage door slider. There's no studs in the bottom. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm further ahead. There's no studs there holding these pieces to the base plate. So these things wiggle. <laughs> they wiggle a lot. And this door falls out because, of course, they wiggle. Um, they're only held at the top. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, excuse me. Bless me. Um... And so when you pick this up, the base plate bends, the base plate bends very easy and then the pieces come apart. Uh, the other issue is, of course, electrical, not a huge issue, but uh, this is where it gets connected to the life lights kits and the big, the, the rest of the tower. And it, and it goes up to here to a uh, basic life lights kit. And one of these wires goes over to here to my patented, <laughs> my patented, uh, Life lights, three volt DC to uh, ten thousand volt AC alternating current for the I think it's ten thousand, but zero amps basically for this wire here, the uh, EL wire that goes around here, and that's what that's for. So this thing does light up, and it's got some lights in the front. Let me show you. It's got some lights there and there. Not one in the center, but it's lit up enough. Um, I, I I I tried to do some sort of art art Funko D the like little little sixties kind of see that little slope going the other way, and then inside it comes out to here. Basically, you're supposed to think it comes out to here. Again, brutalisk architecture, and it goes to here to here, uh, and this is where it starts ramping up to the tower, and you can see that. Again, I'm going to grab my handy-dandy picture that my beautiful wife made me. Um, so there's, look, see, this has got the black on it still. This is the black. Those, those things I told you from Mars Missions. And then there's the uh, one by three, like, gray slope, and then there's a two by three uh, slope in there with the classic space logo on it. Um, but you can see here, and here, those lines coming down, those walls come down, they go right into here, they stop here, and then they go through the building. I thought that was cool. <laughs> they all line up. <laughs> now inside the building, uh, right where these things end, is where those those one by six by five bricks are. So it, there's no there's no flying buttresses, or there is because it's right here. You can see these guys, but that that's part of here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I had ideas to make it continuous. Uh, oh. I just popped off the lid again. This is what happens because this this lid, this roof is only held on by these four studs here, those four studs there. And sometimes the one by six by five plates here in front. So this thing has lots of problems. It breaks a lot. <laughs> not like smashed, not like dropped on the floor, but uh, the, the top comes loose. 
uh, the sides come loose and the doors come off. It's a big pain. It really is. When I built the other one into a two uh, base plate module, it's a lot stronger. It doesn't seem to break as much because it's built into a bigger structure to hold it all together. Um, I was trying to figure out if I could actually use some sort of Technic beams locking this thing together. I just, I love the idea that there's space inside for space for people moving around. So when you look in the windows, you don't see Technic beams holding the whole thing together. It kind of ruins the, the fantasy of the in-universe. Um, but if it keeps on breaking, and again, overall, it hasn't broken that much over the last bunch of shows. I've been very fortunate. There we go. It does get loose and you can... <laughs> not not the best sound in the world. Uh, and uh, so just to talk about this really quick, trans yellow for these windows. Because I can. <laughs> You guys, that's the third party. <laughs> that, that is Jealous Panda. Uh, who is closed right now, so I guess maybe the folding up shop. Sale of I'll find somebody else. Um, <laughs> but in the end, the, the wiring's a little, little bit of a pain, but I, I realized when I was taking it down at the Jamie's shop that what I might start doing, because, again, logistics, if you want to get into this at the 11-minute mark, logistics i normally would put all the nine modules of plywood with the um base plates taped to them out and i then i start populating with the buildings and the and the and the rails what i found taking it down which was easier is i took all the rest of the the pieces of plywood that with the base plates on it off except for where the tower was because i didn't have access to that very well where it was uh but i said oh this is kind of interesting because now i can just pull the whole module like the whole piece of plywood away from the other piece of plywood and i can just connect the wires together and push it back together so i might try that at bricks in the six to see if that helps so i'm going to put the, the 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 wooden modules uh out for where the tower is which is like two or three pieces of wood with the base plates on it and then i'm going to do the wiring for the tower in and of itself at least the tower up to here, right? The what all the pieces that are in box three, which is this piece, uh, the 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 repair bay, and the other side. So that's three pieces I put together, and then I can do it. That's where the all the wiring is <laughs> for the rest of it, uh, and then it should be a lot easier for me to build out after that. So I'm gonna try that. Uh, I gotta try to remember to try that. Um, because you know, I have a tendency of forgetting stuff, but um, and let's also look at holy moly, there's so much dust in this thing. <laughs> but again, I I get and, and sometimes I really want to, uh, that the cleanliness of brand new mocks, uh, where the pieces look mint, uh, but I look at this and it looks like it's in universe because you're on an asteroid or the moon or whatever, it's going to be dusty. It's going to be dusty. So I'm getting a little stuff here. Go ahead and bed. Um, the trans yellow worked out so much better. I, I didn't mind the clear, the, the, the clear garage uh, door pieces, but the trans yellow looks so much better. It does. It does. And I got enough to build lots more. Um, and uh, yeah, I think, I think. I'm not going to waste any more of your time because I've said everything I wanted to say and I don't want to go off on too many tangents right now. <laughs> so, uh, this thing, can I get it out easily? So, just really, really quick. So, this is, I'll show you. If you ever get into these AL wire things, they are, cheers up to you. So that's what you get when you get the EL wires. You get the, this one has, oh, the batteries are dead. Shocking. Um, <laughs> oh, they're even leaking. Son of a pop. They're leaking. <laughs> oh, I'll throw this one out. Um, <laughs> so what I do is I, 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 there's a screw here you take off. So it comes apart. 
Uh, you take the battery side off. You basically take a Dremel to it. All your own. Just, again, no expense is spared for the special effects that I have in these videos, especially the sound effects with the Dremel. And so you're just left with this little tiny piece on top. And then when you take it apart, you can see where the battery terminals connect to the, the circuit board and you just solder two wires to it. That's what you do. This thing here takes three volts because 1.5 plus 1.5 is three volts and it converts it to, I think, 10,000 volts, but zero amps because it needs the alternating current to agitate the, the, the uh, electroluminescent paint or whatever they're using here. It can't be DC because it won't light up. It has to be AC, like 10,000 times a second, <laughs> whatever a minute. Uh, and, then, and then that's what lights it up. So it's zero voltage, like, I mean, zero amps. You, you, you. Although I will say, again, do not do this at home, kids. So I have this one here just for this building, right? So this, this, this plugs right into the life lights kit because it's still three volts, just like life lights kit. And therefore I didn't have to run a special EL wire to this this module. But I do have an external 110 volt to three volt or 10,000 volt, <laughs> whatever, uh, uh, converter kit that, so you can plug it into the wall. It's a transformer that supplies power to EL wire. Uh, and, um, and that one, you can run like meters of EL wire without worrying about killing your batteries. Um, and so I connected that to my wiring harness because the tower itself requires three 120 volt life light uh, adapters. Because there's, I don't know, um, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. There's about, I don't, know, fifteen or eighteen life lights kits in the entire tower. <laughs> and then of course the EL wire converters that I use here. But instead of like powering all the EL wire in the tower from these life lights conversion kits that I make, uh, I decided to connect them straight to the 110 volt converter uh, to save my life light kits. And so I have, if you've seen that wiring harness that goes up the tower, I have the, the 20 the twenty ribbon and a, and a four ribbon. And I connected the, I soldered the um, EL wire adapter, the 110 volt adapter to the four line adapter. And what happens is that if you plug it in, <laughs> If you plug it in so it's powered going to the actual uh, wiring harness and you actually like, accidentally, which I done, touched the two uh, connector rods on the plug side that are going to the EL kit, you'll get a shock because it is alternating current and you'll feel it. And it hurts. <laughs> so it's not like sticking your finger into the wall socket. It's not 110 volts. I could make your hair go poof, but it, you, you'll feel it. And it's like, oh. To turn that off before I put the tower together. Um, I've done it a few times because, of course, I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> I'm like that. I just, oh, yeah, I forgot. I shouldn't touch that. Um, it's just fine. <laughs> so, but anywho, um, it, is, it, is, it, it saves on... I, well, first of all, I, I ran out of 110 volt life lights kits of power adapters. So I wanted to reduce the number of um, life lights kits that are powering the EL wire. But this one, because it's kind of self-contained, where you got the eight LEDs throughout here, which lights it enough, and then you got one life lights kit. I mean, that one life lights converter to EL wire, and that's perfectly fine. I don't know how many amps it uses because um, it, 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 the, the life lights kits themselves there's a, there's a max number of life lights kits you can connect to a 110 volt adapter. Uh, I don't think I'm blowing that yet. Uh, and so, and, and again, it's been many shows that it's been running. So obviously it's running. Uh, but I also don't want to task it because I want this thing to last a long time. The other deficiency about the, the EL wire is that it has a set life to it. It will start to fade because it is a chemical, it's not necessarily a chemical reaction, but the stuff gets the phosphorus or whatever it is gets used up. So if you leave it on continuously, the light will fade. But I think they said it was 20,000 hours <laughs> before it starts fading, or maybe they had 20,000 hours before it doesn't even light up anymore. I don't know. I don't think the layout's going to be together for 20,000 hours. <laughs> so 
<laughs> so I, so I, I ain't worried about it. Um, so for a guy who was going to stop this video 10 minutes ago, uh, I've gone on for another 10 minutes, but now I'm going to stop it. I've said literally everything I wanted to say. Um, if you have questions about the EL wire stuff, uh, AliExpress is where I got mine and they were cheap, like a buck or two per package. And I got a whole bin still of wire that I just, I just ordered tons and I didn't even use one tenth of it. I don't know why I did that. Um, I got this really long green one. I don't know why I ordered that. <laughs> I think it's like three meters. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, I got lots of yellow, which makes me happy. And I keep the pieces, because again, I, I had to cut some. And I mentioned that, not to go into it. But you, I don't know if you can see in the middle. Probably not. Um, that um, it, it is a bit of a finicky thing to get them daisy chained together by soldering and stuff. But you can do it. I've done it. So, But it does take a little bit of work. A little bit of finesse, which I do not have. But anyway, this is done. I'm not going to bother fixing it anymore. It is, it is going to do what it needs to do. I'm going to go grab some other modules um, and fix them up. And maybe have a, a frank discussion about them. But this was the easiest one to grab out of the box. So that's it. That's all. I want everybody out there to stay safe. Take care. And I, um, I hope you're all doing well. Talk to you soon.